You've got the skills to pay the bills, and they've got the tools. Today on Engine Power, we get a sneak peek at all the cool new items at the Matco Tool Expo. Plus, our Stroker Windsor gets a couple of upgrades that make big power. Welcome to Engine Power. We don't like to brag at all, but today we're going to. We're at the Matco Tool Expo in the craziest city in the U.S., Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. Now we're here to see all the new tools that Matco has to offer for this year, but more importantly, talk to the distributors that bring all the tools out to you on the streets. Now Mike is an old pro at coming to this event, but this is my first time at a tool expo, and I am excited to hear about all the success stories people have from selling Matco tools. This year, Matco Tools celebrates its 40th anniversary, and they are doing it in style at the Venetian, in the heart of the Vegas Strip. A lot of things can change in 40 years, but Matco relies on a proven, time-tested strategy. Service is how you win in this business. We all sell good products, we all sell them pretty much at the same price, but the way you win in this business is service. We made our way over to the toolbox section, and this thing really caught our eye. David, tell us about this box. This is a classic 6S toolbox, two bay, 25 inch deep, supercharged silver with black vein drawers. This is a really great box. Now something I really haven't seen, uh, the logo, it's colored now. We introduced colored emblems. Uh, you can get colored emblems to match the trim of your box, select your box color, select your trim, your colored emblems match. You can get them in blue, black, orange, green, red, and chrome. Awesome, something new, the light. The light is uh, an LED light that uh, is available for Macro Tools. A lot of them complement the colors of our box, really draws attention in that shop. Let them know that you've got a Macro Tools box. I'm here with Laura, and she's going to talk about something that's very important to a lot of the people who own boxes, graphics. Tell me about the graphics that you guys offer. All right, I'm going to tell you about these Matco exclusive boxes. We've got a U.S. flag, a Canadian flag, and two 40 anniversaries that they're being launched. And this vinyl here is made for your car. That's how durable it is. It's got a UV resistant overland that's going to be resistant to any type of chemical or fluid and also to the sun if you dare put your beautiful boxes outside. Now, uh, I'll give you four bucks if you can sing the Canadian National Anthem. Um, I just get my purse. <laughs> <laughs> and filling these toolboxes are the highest quality sockets and hand tools. We are launching a brand new 75 piece master bit socket set. It's going to include all your most common standard torques as well as the long torques, your full line of inverted torques, and then a full range of hex both in quarter, three eighths, and half inch drive, as well as long hex in quarter and three eighths drive. So in addition to the 75 piece master set, we're going to be launching nine smaller sets, star plus sockets, as well as tamper proof star plus, long triple square, some slotted and Phillips drivers, um, a real stubby star set, and then a couple hex sets as well. I just want to show you some things that we've recently introduced. We have brought out the half inch stubby impacts in December, and it's got that format that the technicians just love. At the show, we're bringing out the 3 8 Junior, and we're very proud of our brushless 12 volt 3 8 cordless impacts. Jace, tell me a little bit about the, the brushless here. And the brushless motor in this tool gives the technician more use per charge, so he's able to remove 570 volts versus 438 uh, volts on a previous tool. And also, I do want to show you this beautiful 40th anniversary, Matco's 40th anniversary gold plated ratchet. That's pretty sweet. It is. There's a plethora of new items here. Let's take a look at some of the coolest. This is the Easy Solder Clamp. This does the job of a bulky third hand tool and makes soldering a breeze even in tight places. Knipex was founded in 1882 and they keep introducing handy new tools like the Matco exclusive 22 inch Swedish pipe wrench with a quick adjustment button. This tool is perfect for tie rod adjustments. You're in a narrow area, you know what I'm talking about, you try to get in there, Push the button, lock it in place, you're ready to go. I'm with the guy who has the name of my favorite Canadian band. Rush, tell me a little bit about this tool here. All right, so we have a universal windback tool. Um, it's a left hand, right hand, and static pushback tool. Typically, traditionally, you would have a brake caliper tool that has a left hand, a right hand, and all these adapters. What we've been able to do is shrink all this kit down into this size kit saves a ton of room in the toolbox. So the way it works is you have a specially built screw that has a screw inside of a screw. So that allows us to go left or right. And we have this handy adapter here that has pins that adjust to any different configuration you have. Huge time saver, it's a money making tool, it's a great tool. 
Up next, new tools, new opportunities, and old friends. This guy is sharp in the engine department, and we could use a little bit of that in the valve train. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks, my brother. Anytime. Welcome back to sunny Las Vegas and the Matco Tool Expo. When Antron Brown takes the stage, you can feel the energy from the crowd. They love this three-time NHRA top fuel champion, and the feeling is mutual. The race is won in the pits, you know yeah. what I mean? Only thing you're doing when you go out the track, you're showcasing the work that you have done in the pits. And for us, we rebuild these engines in 35 minutes. You need the best tools to do the job, and that's where Mako has come in over all the years and all the championships and all of our national lit wins. Each year, the new item showcase is always a hit. From true timber welding helmets and the Synergic welder with LCD screen to this very portable belt sander, there's a wide variety of tools and accessories to make work easier. Being new and innovative is really important to us, so this is just a great place for our distributors to see what's new for the show. Let's be honest. We think removing ball joints can be a pain. Lots of people must agree with us based on the crowd gathered around the Matco exclusive BJP 18100 ball joint press. This tool has a two to one leverage ratio. So at a lower input torque, we get a much higher pressure on the actual ball joint. And that's kind of the name of the game with getting these things out there. They're rusted in there and they're just not wanting to pop out anymore. At 50 pound feet, a typical press creates 2.5 tons of pressure. The Matco version provides over seven tons of pressure at the same torque output. With a much lower tool height, the press easily fits into tight spaces, saving you time and hassle. Wow, just like that, yeah. Doesn't get any easier than that. Another time saver is the Matco Hyperstep drill bit. This step bit lets you drill your pilot and final holes in one pass. What's nice about it is you could drill a hole without a pilot hole. You don't need a center punch the piece. You don't need to drill a pilot hole and then your final hole. Develop them for use on hand drill specifically. Uh, they take a lot of beating um, from guys not being able to get the right angle. So That's guys like me, you know. Well, I assume so. I assume that's why you're looking at them. <laughs> RRR stands for Recover, Recycle, Recharge. And the Matco AC439 machine handles R134A refrigerant with ease. It includes automatic air purge, fast charging action, and vacuum pump oil that lasts up to 1,000 hours. Free Wi-Fi updates are just one of its many high-tech features. We can do things on this unit that we could never do in the past uh, with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So I can screen mirror for my tech support group, come in, take control over the unit. It helps with service, uh, troubleshooting, training. From driver assist technology to fully autonomous vehicles, computers play an increasing role in our cars, and MACO stands ready. Advanced driver assist systems are coming on very quickly, and that means extra sensors, which means calibration, and it requires specialized tools to handle those. So we're spending a lot of time on research and development to make sure that we're always staying ahead of those curves. The Maximus 3.0 diagnostic scan tool gathers massive amounts of computer data and delivers it on a 10.1 inch touchscreen display. It runs an open Android system with full Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability. Features include data sampling, which lets you compare a poorly running car with a good one, and Maximus Fix, a comprehensive online database with crucial repair information. Technicians, you know, can't repair cars without information. And now with the biggest addition with Maximus Fix, we've added the capability with our software to get to those, uh, the information for repairs with TSBs, wiring diagrams, component locations, you know, anything that you would need to repair and finish the job. You know, I think the interesting thing for Maco Tools in the future as we read all the papers is things are going to change from a technology standpoint to electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, and I think it's going to present a great deal of opportunity for the tool business. For 40 years now, Maco distributors have delivered the finest in tools and customer service. This is a family, and the Maco Tool Expo is their reunion. If you want to take charge of your future and do work you truly love, consider becoming a Maco Tools distributor. MACO provides all the training and support you need. You know, a uh, line in our mission statement really drives home why we're here, and that's to give everyone an opportunity to own a franchise and be a successful business owner. And that's what we do. If you're looking for the freedom to work for yourself and have the time to do what you want in life aside from work, it's the best decision that we've ever made. 
for our Stroker Windsor, the math is simple. More air equals more power. Hey, we're back at the shop and ready to put our matte coat tools to use on our old gray mare project. Now, if you remember, this engine started out as a stock cubic inch Windsor, and we put a top end kit on it from Trickflow, and we ran it against a six liter LS that had comparable parts. Now, recently, we increased the cubic inches by adding an Eagle rotating assembly while keeping the cylinder heads, camshaft, intake, and carburetor the same. This allowed us to show you what gains to expect by just increasing the cubic inches, and the results were impressive. In the 351 cubic inch version, this engine pumped out 448 horsepower and 423 pound-feet of torque. With the increased stroke, a nice hone job, and a gain of 57 cubic inches, our new version we dubbed Old Gray Mare increased the power and torque numbers to 522 on the horsepower side and 530 pound-feet of torque. Now currently we are running a dual plane intake manifold and with this air stack on that has an air turbine that measures airflow and this line in the back that measures manifold vacuum, we can tell by our dyno data that we have some sort of air restriction. Now we know this because the carburetor will flow up to 950 CFM, but the air turbine is telling us only about 680 CFM is going by it. Now couple that with the 1.7 inches of manifold vacuum, in this case it looks like our intake is the air restriction. With that being being said, this engine has more potential and we have the parts to show it. Now we will be swapping the hydraulic roller camshaft out for a solid roller with a more aggressive profile. But first, let's see what potential this engine has by increasing the airflow with a single plane manifold. To pull the dual plane manifold, we have to remove the air stack, carburetor, drain the water level of the block, remove the temp sensor adapter, the thermostat housing, and pull the distributor cap for a little extra room. Finally, the manifold bolts are loosened and Pat gets a little workout to get the manifold separated. A little cleanup work is necessary to remove the gasket material from the heads and the silicone from the china rails. Do yourself a favor and always lay a few paper towels down to catch as much debris as possible. With clean surfaces, new Felpro gaskets from Summit can go on, followed by a fancy bead of Permatex Right Stuff silicone. The manifold going on is a TrickFlow R-Series single plane we picked up from Summit Racing. This manifold has a larger volume and larger cross-sectional areas in the runners. A straighter path for the air fuel mix to enter the cylinders creates a higher velocity for more efficient cylinder filling at all RPMs. What do you think? Let her rip, Tater Chip. Just, just make a bang on it. That was pretty mean right there. That was really mean. A 66. Woo! A 66 Woo! and a 31 on torque. That is uh, nice, nice, nice. We got to run it higher because now we're not even shutting down at peak power yet. At 6,500, it's going up slightly. It's probably leveling off right there. Add another 300 to it. But uh, yeah, let's, let's add a little RPM to it. Now I'm going to add 500 to it. All right. right. Remember, we still have to do a cam swap in this thing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I know. Mr. Beat it till it's dead. <laughs> That's right. And you know what? It's kind of funny because it is an old gray mare. Are you going to beat the horse until it's dead? She ain't what she used to be. <laughs> ah. I saw it. It carries power well. It carries it real well. Uh, 71. 71. Ah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 530 for torque. In that 500 additional RPM, it fell off to 496. Yep. And here, you know what that's a function of? I can already tell you. That's a function of camshaft. And if the man wants a camshaft, give him a camshaft. Back in the dyno room, the hydraulic roller camshaft is ready to come out. It is being replaced with a solid roller. That requires new lifters and push rods which you'll see after we tell you about the new cam, which is a comp cam from Summit Racing. Duration at 50 thousandths lift is 254 degrees on the intake and 260 degrees on the exhaust. That's a gain of 18 degrees on the intake and 12 degrees on the exhaust. Lobe separation angle is 110 degrees and the lift at the valve with our 1.72 rocker ratio is 669 on the intake and 676 on the exhaust. 
That's a difference of 52 thousandths more on the intake and 34 more thousandths on the exhaust. This camshaft is going to make power higher in the RPM range. It's also going to increase our peak numbers. Now the operating range of this engine is going to drastically change, more towards drag racing and wide open throttle operation. Now between the intake swap and the camshaft change, we're going to see an engine with a totally different attitude, and the dyno is going to prove it. What you got? Uh, it's in at 107 like the other one. We also had to change the valve springs for a solid roller application. With an inch 900 installed height, these springs are 260 pounds on the seat with a 460 pound per inch rate. That means at full lift, we will have almost 600 pounds of open pressure. Summit also sent us comp solid roller lifters with a tie bar design. They are 875 in diameter and because of the different pushrod cup location, new trend pushrods had to be ordered. These new push rods are chromoly and have a 105 thousandths wall thickness. They're 5 16 outer diameter and are 8 500 long with 5 16 ball ends. Once we get this bullet back together, it's time for some dyno runs. On the first run, we made an impressive 613 horsepower and 534 pound-feet of torque. But we wanted to see what she'd make with a second inch of spacer under the car. Seventeen and a thirty-seven. That's a little more. And vacuum did drop a hair at the top end. About two tenths. Yeah, and uh, again, that's a little bit uh, of a function of just sheer plenum volume, right, dude? So the engine still has potential. We're making killer power. It shows a good difference between the hydraulic roller and the solid roller as far yes. as carrying the power through the RPM. And this applies to all engines. It doesn't matter Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Mitsubishi. It really doesn't matter. When you increase airflow, you increase cylinder pressure, you will increase power. Briggs so, and Stratton? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Nice job. Hey, good one. Another one bites dust. For more information on anything you've seen today, check out PowerNationTV.com. Jason Line is with us today to talk go fast parts and the performance industry. Now he really needs no introduction, but for those of you living under a rock, he is the three-time NHRA Pro Stock Champion and he's sponsored by our favorite part source, Summit Racing. We're going to discuss a few different things today from pistons and cylinder heads to high-end lubes and how the industry standards have been reset thanks to racing innovation and development over the last few years. So the first thing I want to talk about is pistons and how pistons have evolved over the last 20 years or so. Piston technology has changed drastically and uh, probably more so from the manufacturing side because we have much better machining equipment uh, which uh, allows the piston manufacturer to uh, make the ringland uh, the finish much better and the uh, parallelism to the ringland to the, uh, to the pin boss. Um, which uh, ultimately results in more power for uh, not only the race engines, but you know, again, it's transferred to the street cars. What about the design of the piston from the uh, from the old coffee can style to the new style strutting? Yeah, the, you know, over the years we just didn't know. So uh, through trial and error, and obviously now uh, better methods uh, using science, we we uh, have much better programs to. Uh, you know, tell us where the piston needs to be strong and where it doesn't need to be strong. So the weights move to the places it needs to be and away from the places it doesn't. Now, what about the total shape of the piston itself? The shape is definitely, uh, you know, there's certainly some magic there as far as making power goes. And, uh, you know, obviously through a lot of trial and error testing, uh, you're working on one specific engine, like a pro stock engine, you know, we've, we've figured out, you know, where it, where it needs more material and where it needs less. And along with that, the ring physical size has changed. Yes, it's changed a lot over the years. You know, back in the day, uh, 1970 Buick had a 564 ring in it, which is a real big, heavy ring, with the uh, you know applied a lot of friction to the cylinder wall. And now that that technology has changed a lot, and everything has light, nice, lightweight, uh, low tension ring packages that still seal much better. Moving on to the cylinder head, we heard through the grapevine, KB Racing and Trick Flow are going to be working together. We are actually. We've got some cool projects coming up, some LS stuff and uh, and some small block Chevy stuff. So. Uh, we're trying to apply a little, uh, you know, a little racing technology into uh, some other types of cylinder heads. Well, I know this stuff is pretty good out of the box, so it's going to be really neat to see what you guys come up with. It on. is. It's going to be kind of fun. And last, but certainly not least, oil technology. Yeah, there's a lot of good oils on the market today with a lot of different oil additive packages. So the best thing to do is test them in your engine and see what flavor it likes, and they're all available at Summit. 
and they have a variety of weights and viscosities like the zero weight both for racing and some OEM applications, all the way up to 50 weight and everything in between. Exactly. Jason, thanks a lot for coming in today and sharing your expertise. We really appreciate it. You bet. Thanks for having me here. And I hope to see you out at a race very soon. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks.